Have you ever been a believer in communism? My feeling, sir, is that I have believed in the entire philosophies of the left at one period in my life, including socialism, communism, Trotskyism. All isms have influenced me one way or another. Now, Mr. Hughes, do you remember writing this? Good morning, revolution. You are the very best friend I've ever had. We are gonna pile around together from now on. Yes, sir, I wrote that. Did you write this? Put one more S in the USA to make it Soviet. The USA, when we take control, will be the USSA then. Yes, sir, I wrote that. Were you kidding when you wrote those things? What did you mean by those? To give you a full interpretation of any piece of literary work, one has to consider what brought it into being. I, sir, was born a Negro. From my very earliest childhood memories, I have encountered very hurtful problems. One of my earliest memories was going to the movies in Lawrence, Kansas. One afternoon, I put my nickel down and the woman pushed it back and she pointed to a sign. The sign said, colored not admitted. It was my first revelation of the division between the American citizens. My playmates, who were white and lived next door to me, could go to that motion picture, and I could not. In the first grade, my mother worked for a lawyer. Being a working woman, naturally she wanted to send me to the nearest school, and they would not let me go to the school. My mother had to go to the school board, and finally, after some time, she got me into the school. I had been there only a few days when the teacher made unpleasant and derogatory remarks about Negroes. Some of my schoolmates stoned me on the way home from school. My father and my mother were not together. When I got old enough to learn why, again, it was the same thing. My father, shortly after I was born, had studied law. He applied for permission to take the bar, and they would not permit him. A Negro evidently could not take the examinations. I missed my father. I learned he had gone away to another country because of prejudice here. When I finally met my father at the age of 17, he said, never go back to the United States. Negroes are fools to live there. I didn't believe that. I loved the country I had grown up in. I was concerned with the problems and I came back here. And so my interest in whatever may be considered political has been born out of this whole problem of myself, segregated, poor, colored, and how I can adjust to this whole problem of helping to build America when sometimes I cannot even get into a school or a lecture or a concert or in the South go to the library and get a book out. Could you make it briefer, please? A critical work goes out of a very deep background. It does not come in a moment. I am perfectly willing to come back and give it to you later, if you are tired. No, we will sit here as long as you want to go on. But you are missing the point completely. Will you give us some straightforward answers? Did you ever in your life desire the Soviet form of government over here? That is a very simple question, Mr. Hughes, for a man who wrote the things you did. And we have just started. <laughs> 